Good <laughs> morning everyone. It is a lovely day here in sunny Glasgow. We're just outside the city and we're heading towards the airport in the motorhome. Airport? Yeah. Because Mercato is flying out of the UK today. It's okay, I'll see her in an hour. Bye. <laughs> She's flying all the way to Ireland. 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 Um, as she... It's been six months. She's been in the UK six months already. And she has to leave, so... She's going over to Ireland and I am getting the ferry over. So I'll be sat in the car driving for about five hours while she sits at the airport and waits for a one hour flight. Queens. <laughs> okay. Pints. Right, I'm sure it'll be fine. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good flight. Thank you. <laughs> there goes my cotton. We made it with what's the time? It's 11 o'clock, so we were a little bit later, but the ferry's still here. Probably even got another 10 minutes to spare. We're going to Ireland. Whee! It's been a few years since I've been there four, four years. Pretty excited. Let's go get on the ferry. We're almost to Ireland. Wait, we're not almost to Ireland. I'm almost to Ireland. Makoto is still sat in an actually. She's probably on the plane now. She'll arrive an hour after I land. So I've got about I think about an hour and a half drive, so it should work out pretty well. Don't know if you can even hear me with all this wind though. We're about to set our wheels down in Ireland.
I don't know what the fuck is happening, but there was just some fire underneath my feet. I just saw a load of smoke coming out of here. Okay, we are back on the route. I have no idea what that was, but I just heard some crackling and I looked down and I could see a load of smoke coming out where the battery, the leisure battery is underneath the seat. And that scared the crap out of me. Um, I just pulled over there on the motorway, just pulled over into the hard shoulder and took a look at it and I couldn't see any problems. It stopped smoking. And we're still going, so I have no idea what that was. Hopefully the leisure battery still works. We'll find out later when I go to turn it on. Fun. Anyway, we are about 50 minutes away from picking up Makoto. She sat at the airport waiting for me in Dublin. I got Makoto! <laughs> I forgot to film picking her up at the airport, but here she is. It was only like less than one hour, one hour flight. Yeah, but we were apart for like seven hours almost or something. It's the longest we've been apart in like two years. I've been driving for like seven hours almost now. Um, ready to have a beer and do nothing. Okay, I found the problem. The connectors seem to have welded themselves to the side of the metal. Interesting. I wonder if that... the battery doesn't seem to be working at the moment, but... I wonder if I knock it off that, it'll work. Who knows? Let's try it. Interesting. Okay. Car battery. Working. Leisure battery. Dead. Must have fried itself or something then. I have no idea what happened. Well, I know what happened to you. The connectors touched some metal and short circuited it or something, I guess. That's a bit annoying. Oh well, we don't have a battery now. Don't have a leisure battery. Hey, hey, hey. But we've just found a place to stay for a few nights in Ireland. Time to relax. <laughs> Hello everyone! We finally arrived in Ireland and we are in Wicklow National Park area Ooh. and it's like one hour away from Dublin? Dublin, yeah. Dublin. Dublin. And this is where we parked. Yeah, we've just woken up in the morning with this as our backdrop. 
which is pretty epic. Um, the lake behind it, you can just about see it, is called the Guinness Lake. It's, it's like basically a black lake with like a almost kind of sandy beach looking at the end of it. It does look like Guinness now that we know about it. We didn't know before we pulled up here. We just saw a nice view and pulled up for the night. We've been here for one night so far and we're probably going to stay here again tonight. It's quite windy. As it's free and quite nice up here. It's very windy, yeah. The whole of yesterday and all night it was really windy and quite cold and rainy. It seems to just rain every half an hour. But it's nice so. <laughs> and now we're going to go on a little walk around, explore. Do I run all the way here? I don't think so. No, oh, you might do it. He touched a peak. You <laughs> made it to the top. Yay! <laughs> Island. <laughs> we, we just saw yeah. a seal. Yeah, a little port. wild seal in the port. And now we're going to Salty Island, which apparently has loads of puffins and everything. We are going to get stung. <laughs> anyway, after the stinging nettles. So today we have come to Salty Islands, one of the Salty Islands, the biggest one. Um, as, oh my God, it's so hard to walk here. 
Um, it's one of the, what does it say? One of the biggest breeding grounds for puffins somewhere. I don't know. I don't know the exact details. But it's a famous spot to see puffins breeding. Um, and apparently there is a lot of puffins here. And we've both never seen puffins in the wild before. Um, but we've already seen two seals here. Um, which is pretty fun. It's always fun to see a seal. And yeah, this island's just completely unhab uninhabited by humans. I think there's a little house on it somewhere, apparently. It costs 30 euros each to come to the island. Um, 20 minute boat ride, and then you jump into a little dinghy, and then jump out of the dinghy and get your feet wet as you climb onto the beach. You actually need to have something ready boat, so yeah. you don't mind getting wet. I got my feet wet. <laughs> it's not appropriate. Yeah, my legs are itchy. All the her grass and everything. You can hear so many seagulls here, it's a bit crazy. We saw a puffin! <laughs> it's our first time seeing it, he's still there. <gasps> We've never seen one before. Pretty close. <laughs> yeah. They're the one with the Flying away. black puffin, and then this one's the other puffin with the orange beak. Mm. I think this one looks yeah. cute. <laughs> I think the other one's rarer, maybe, but this one looks better. Oh, is it? Oh. He's coming out. I'm going to take some more pictures now. That is Bird Island. It looks pretty scary to go over to it. We we were attacked by a, a, about 50 seagulls earlier today when we, I guess, walked through their nesting grounds. And they all started swooping at us. We had to run. <laughs> but I don't fancy climbing onto that rock. It's got about 200 seagulls on it. Bye!